Hello, my name is Adrian Lucas. I'm just going to tell you a little bit about the Reclaimed Wood Challenge. This is a challenge we devised for the Holy Grail Guitar Show. And because several exhibitors have taken the challenge and prepared instruments for the show, they will be showing them at the Holy Couch Guitar Show this weekend, so look out for them. We came up with the idea of the challenge because we're living in a time of crisis, and I'm not talking about COVID-19, I'm talking about climate change and ecological collapses all over the world. It's a very, very serious problem that we need to deal with. And it basically means we have to stop wasting things, we have to stop throwing things away, we have to repair things. Um, and in terms of guitar making, we can use reclaimed woods. Now, when a wooden object, when any object reaches the end of its life as that object and isn't useful anymore, it's quite often the case that the materials it's made from are still perfectly good. And um, that's particularly the case with wood. When you get a piece of furniture, like this oak bookcase, this piece of an oak bookcase, the bookcase has fallen apart, it's kind of lost its integrity, nobody loves it anymore and it was made maybe 60 years ago and that's a really nice piece of oak. The oak is no less useful than it was the day the bookcase was made so it makes no sense at all to dispose of that wood but to use it instead. Now when um, as wood ages, once it's been cut, first of all it seasons, the, the moisture dries out of it and out of the cells and that is the stage at which you would normally buy a piece of wood to use. Now and in the following decades, as the wood gets older, seriously older, there are chemical changes within the wood and this causes some good changes for us as guitar makers. It makes the wood more stable and possibly lighter in weight. It's a similar, if you've heard of torrefaction, which is becoming more and more fashionable in guitar making, that means thermally treated wood. The process of thermal treating is basically an artificial aging process and it makes for a stiffer, lighter, um, more stable piece of wood. So we've already got that if we start using old pieces of wood in the first place. And um, I can come from many sources. This is, this is from a door, furniture, we've got pews from a church, floorboards, all sorts of things. When, when you're choosing a piece of wood to build a guitar from, and speaking from a maker's point of view, there are things that we can do. Sometimes we're frustrated because the piece of wood would appear to be too small for the job in hand. Now when you make a, an acoustic guitar, for example, the top and the back are made from, traditionally, from two book-matched pieces joined in the middle. It means each piece, or the piece you cut the book match from, has to be at least half the width of the guitar. Um, if that's not the case, there's nothing to stop us using three, four, five, six pieces to make the top or the back. It's still, as long as the glue joints are good and it's done properly, that's just as good and it gives us access to a lot more wood. We can make an entire top or back quarter sawn when the grain might be drifting off the quarter. And likewise with a guitar neck, you can laminate the neck, which means you have access to smaller pieces of wood or pieces that are flat sawn and you want quarter sawn so you change the grain orientation. So there are by using particular techniques, you can use wood that otherwise would seem not to be suitable. Um, now, another thing I really like about using reclaimed wood is the story behind where the wood has come from. Every piece of reclaimed wood has a story to it, it has a history, and it has a connection to somebody or to a person or a place or a time. And I think that can be a really appealing and interesting aspect of a guitar. If it's got a previous history and it's got some 
vibe and mojo to it. And it's very similar to the situation that I feel is the appeal of vintage guitars. People love old vintage guitars because they have this mojo and this vibe and this feel and a connection to, they have a history, who's owned the guitar, who's played it, where it's come from. It's a similar thing with reclaimed woods. Um, and I'd just like to show you a couple of guitars that I've built for the Reclaim Wood Challenge and explain where the woods come from and how it was put together. This is the acoustic I made for the challenge. The soundboard is Douglas fir and it came from a piece of wood like this which is the upright part of a door, a panel door. And it looks nothing because it's got paint on and it's all battered. But under there there's some beautiful, stiff, close-grained Douglas fir from about 1930, so it's 90 years old. You can see that um, piece of wood is a lot narrower than half the width of the guitar, and this is actually a four-piece top with two wings glued on the edges, and the wings come from the waist, so they match the wood. The fingerboard and the bridge are made from Wenge, from a floor, piece of wooden flooring, like that one, which I found in a skip. And the back and sides on this guitar are quilted sapili. It's absolutely stunningly beautiful. And this came from a, the, uh, it was a bench in a church. It, it was, it comes, the church was built in 1960, so that, the, the um, wood is about 60 years old. The neck is Honduras mahogany. Now, if you look at that quilted sapili, this is from the same board. This is as I found it in the church, as a part of a seat on the bench. Yeah, and I spotted straight away a figure on that and uh, bagged it. Cut, I've sliced it in half so there's a book match and you can see that's a little bit narrow for the back so I had to add wings onto the edge. It's fantastic wood. The other guitar I made was an electric. This is a solid electric and it's made with, again with Sapili from the same benches. This is not not figured this time. Mahogany neck and the, the top of the body and the fingerboard and the headstock are all um, oak, funnily enough, from this bookcase here. Um, and because the oak is a little bit um, bland in some ways, I rub pigments in to highlight the grain. Um, and they're both, both these guitars are very nice resonant instruments. And I think that is due in part to the age of the wood. So that's, um, that's a quick summary of the, the Reclaim Wood Challenge. I know some of the other makers in the show have done some really interesting stuff. So um, have a look out for them over the weekend and beyond and uh, enjoy the show.